everybody, welcome back to today's plugin tutorial video. Before we start, this is not a BGHD plugin. We cannot give support for this plugin. It's made by an external developer who um, just made it on Spigot. I found it on Spigot and I wanted to hi highlight it. So that's it. Let's actually get into the tutorial now. Um, welcome to today's first other BG other plugin tutorial video where we go over other people's plugins, not just ours. Um, today we're checking out the plugin Global Warming in Minecraft. It's new on Spigot for 1.13 and 1.14, I believe. So you have to be running 1.13 or 1.14, I believe. They may support more versions, I'm not sure. Currently I'm in a demo mode. Um, demo mode means it's not connected to MySQL, so it is required. You must have a MySQL server. It does run demo mode, but once you restart the server, your stats do not save. So, why don't we talk a little bit about what this plugin does? Well, it adds the concept of greenhouse gases, CO2, and CH4, carbon dioxide, um, into the world's atmosphere. Um, furnaces, when you, um, furn when you, uh, smelt something, it's going to... Um, emit CO2 into the atmosphere. So you can see we have our global temperature over here and we got our score. Trees will absorb the CO2 when they grow from a sapling. So if you plant a sapling and grow the sapling, you will um, reduce the CO2 in the atmosphere. Farm animals, like pigs here, emit methane, CH4, when they are killed. So if I kill this guy, the methane in the atmosphere is going to raise. Which means you want to find other sources of food. And I'm going to make this a little easier and less violent for this guy. So I killed him. So that means my the methane in the atmosphere raised by a little. So if I kill pigs over and over again, our methane in the atmosphere is going to raise. It, it will take a while because I'm only one player. But eventually it's going to raise up because, you know, it's it's not good. We, we want to keep our animals alive, right? We want to keep the animals alive. So pretty much, I'm just emitting a lot of methane into the atmosphere right now. Let's talk about the other things of it. So as these levels rise, the global temperature in the entire biomes rise. Now, um, as temperature rises, you can customize the effects that are triggered to make ordinary gameplay more challenging. So it can also help survival servers encourage forest repla repla yeah. replantment um, by making players work together to avoid the worlds being destroyed. So, here's some of the featured things that happens in this plugin. It's educational. It, tri it triggers a uh, display of the interactive content where you can mess around and learn about climate change. So you can see up there, a second ago, I don't know where it went, but um, up there it said things like that. It has scoreboard, so you have the scoreboard on the side. You got a carbon scoreboard, which... Um, via commands, which I'll pull up momentarily. You got the, um, multi-world, so it's multi-world supported, which is pretty cool. You don't have, you can restrict what worlds it's on and everything. It can be used, uh, you can carbon offset using your in-game currency, so you can set up vault with this. So, there's a few commands. There's a debug command, which is GW debug, which, um, will debug the database or C or all that. So, let's talk about what actually happens when um when you do too much of this um the sea level will rise you will have a rising sea level which is not not good not good not good uh once it reaches 17 on the side it's not going to be good cuz you're going to start um rising sea levels and stuff so let's go through the book and night so furnaces emit farm animals challenge so each player your footprint is 0 when you start uh, global temperatures 14 is the goal. You want to keep it at 14. Too high, the heat is trapped. Too low, heat can escape. The effects is sea level, snow and ice will melt. Farm yields, mob counts increase. Player movement, I mean mob counts like, um, what's it called? Farm animals will decrease. Player movement will slow, stuff like that. There's bounties, so you can um, show the bounties on everybody. So, bounties. Um, so there, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them here. So why don't we do global warming score show? So right now that's that's just the default one. Um, we'll do global warming score. Okay, for some reason it's not. Oh, uh, probably because I can't spell. There we go. So global warming score. Your carbon footprint is zero. Global temperature is 14 Celsius. Um. 
so if we do alerts after this it will say subscribed to real-time carbon score alerts and if we do global warming uh, top you can see who top 10 polluters and top 10 tree planters so apparently uh, my score right now is zero so why don't we try to pollute a little and see what happens let's get furnaces furnace there we go coal oh, coal let's put a lot of these down just see what happens i'm gonna place all these down clear my inventory i'm gonna give myself coal just fill up my inventory with coal So if you do something like this and you have multiple, it's going to take a while to do because you have multiple players on the server um, burning stuff. Like you're going to have multiple players on the server who are using polluting materials. So your level is going to rise way faster than if you do it this way. Because if you do it this way, it's not going to raise as fast because you're only one person in the world. Imagine if there's only one person in the world. So it's going to say alert, coal burned. So you can see down in the, down in the chat, it's increasing the contribution to the earth atmosphere so it's increasing by eight so you can see over here 14.1 is already up it's way up compared to what it was it was 14 so it, it increases every single time the coal burns in the furnace so eventually this is going to get to a level that's not good and you can see my score over here is increasing this means i'm polluting more into the atmosphere and it's getting worse so now if we do gw top you can see my score right now is 80. I'm a polluter. Not good. So I'm polluting right now. Which is not good. Polluting in there. So every time that burns, this global temperature is going to rise. Once it rises, it's going to get worse. So it's pretty simple to install and get started. It's just drag and drop. I'll leave a link to this plugin in the top of the description. Um, I do recommend you check it out. It is educational. While it's a Minecraft plugin, it does give you some education. So if you want to run this into like a school or something to explain global warming, this is the plugin for you. Um, I have no other comments on anything today. Um, hopefully you did enjoy our first non-plugin tutorial. Not that big of a tutorial. It's just kind of showing off what happens. I, I'm not going to um, show off a lot about... Um, I don't want to spend the time going through um, all of this. But it is pretty cool. And um, a lot of people are enjoying this so far. Um, two five-star reviews in like the first two weeks it's been out with over 110 downloads as well. So every time a coal is burned, your global temperature rises and your polluting rate, rate rises. So make sure don't pollute. Keep global warming down. We want no global warming. It, this teaches about it. But do something to help global warming and don't like recycle and don't use fossil fuel. I'm going to stop before I say something that's not good. Also, the source is, this plugin's open source, so go ahead and check it out. Link is in the description of this video as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Goodbye.